Hey guys, what's up? You knew this was coming. You knew this was coming. It was long due. But now that I have played and beaten every single Valkyria game out there, I decided to make a video about them. It was about time. So welcome to my top 5 best Valkyria games. Yeah, only 5 because there are only 5 games in the entire series, including the spin-off. So yeah, you get the idea. Anyway, welcome and let's begin! Number 5, Valkyria Chronicles 2. Opening this top, we've got the second game in the series, an exclusive for the PSP that seriously needs a remaster nowadays. Nonetheless, I had a pretty good time playing this great title on the system, mainly because I didn't know it existed before playing the first one on the PS3. It takes place a little bit after the story events on the first game, but in an entirely different place, inside a military school with students training to become soldiers and participate in the war conflict. So yep, there's a lot of stereotypes and cliches, some nice characters along the way, and a bunch of gameplay mechanics revolving around side quests. The game reuses maps over and over again, but that didn't exactly turn me off, since I love the tactical features in this whole franchise, so I was okay replaying on the same places for a few times. Overall, it's a pretty decent game, but it failed weak in a lot of areas to me, so that's why it stays on number 5. Number 4. Valkyria Revolution Released for the PS4, Xbox One and the PS Vita, this is a spin-off that takes place in the first European war whereas all the others revolve around the second one. Ironically though, there's no clarification on whether this takes place on the same universe as them or not, but regardless of that, I still enjoy the heck out of this game. I expected the absolute worst when I first played it, considering critics and gamers alike trashed it with a passion. But I was glad to wait for my own experience so I could come up with my own opinion only to be regarded with what I consider to be the best story in the entire series, with a solid cast of characters, an adult-oriented plot about revenge, and a war that began thanks to the brilliant planning of the main protagonists. Gameplay was drastically changed here, not being a tactical RPG at all, but instead an action RPG with each character with an attack waiting bar, similar to a real-time strategy game. I will admit that the difficulty spikes, with the game being very easy for the most part, was not a good design choice, but I still managed to have fun with it because I appreciated the game for what it is, a spin-off. Anyway, story is amazing, music by Yasunori Mitsura is outstanding, and the graphics are beautiful. Those are three good reasons to give this game a chance. Number 3, Valkyria Chronicles 3. Okay, so the next three games I'm gonna have to admit that I absolutely enjoy them on the equal terms and I think no one is better than the other. But for the sake of the video I had to choose numbers, so in the third place I chose the third game in the series that, unfortunately, was never released outside Japan. I therefore believe that this game needs a remaster or a remake or at least a localization for whatever console they want. There's a fan translation patch for the game, which is how I got to play it several years ago, and it worked just fine, helping me appreciate its amazing story revolving around a group of soldiers who work similar to a mercenaries group, like Black Ops, taking on tough and dirty missions for the Federation. This game takes place at the same time as the first game, by the way. Gameplay mechanics or maps are very similar to the second game, but with a better presentation, including more tactical progress. In my opinion, there's a huge abyss between this game and the two previous titles in this list, but when it comes to competing with the others, it's almost a tie. Number 2. 
Number two, Valkyria Chronicles 4. This game has more story, more development, more missions, overall more gameplay than all the other Valkyria games out there, but its stereotypes and cliches are the only small flaw that I saw, which is why it stays on number two. Other than that, however, it's also a masterpiece and an excellent release on all modern platforms. It took the main series seven years to return, and thank goodness it didn't stay in Japan like its predecessor. Hopefully, with the current success of the series, which isn't that much to be honest, a localization of the third game is not much to hope for. Anyway, Valkyria Chronicles 4 is a game I beat recently, and I gotta say, its gameplay mechanics and graphics were no big improvement over the first game, but I didn't care one bit about that, since I love both things anyway exactly as they are. I love this game, and I admire the effort they put in strategizing the maps and the missions, as well as the supporting cast of characters with their amazing side stories. It takes place between and after the events of the first game, but in a completely different squad, still against the Empire. If you're thinking you need to play the others to understand this one, the answer is no. Each one is a standalone title, connected only through small ports of the overall plot of the series, so you'll be fine starting with any game of the franchise. Number 1. Valkyria Chronicles Like I said, just for the sake of this top 5, I had to choose a winner, but in reality it's as amazing as the previous two titles in this list. I only gave it preference because it was the first one in the series, so it literally laid the basis for it in a very well done way. This game, this emblematic RPG that took elements from famous series XCOM and turned them into a tactical masterpiece, is already a classic that was originally released for the PS3, later for PC and remastered for the Switch and the PS4. I've only played the original version, so that's the one I can talk about. In my opinion, it needed no remaster or ports because the game's perfect as it is on the PS3, a beautiful piece of art with cell shaded graphics and an excellent cast of characters that keep the stereotypes to a minimum. It was the beginning of a singularity of gameplay mechanics with characters running around the maps with a limited amount of space and time, becoming turn-based as you take aim to shoot your enemies. These mechanics were extremely addicting to me since I've always been a fan of strategy RPGs. Valkyria Chronicles is an excellent saga that needs more attention nowadays so it can continue to flourish among all those AAA games. guys that's it i hope you enjoyed this video like i said at the beginning there's only five valkyra games in the entire franchise so hopefully someday someday we'll get a valkyra chronicles 5 or maybe another spin-off who knows nobody knows what's gonna happen to sega and media vision guys who develop these amazing strategy rpgs thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends see you next time